Yes, yes, y'all. That is Swole Members, almost famous off the beautiful Death Machine. And they're coming around here. They got a new project about to release, and we've got Prevail from Swole Members on the phone with us right now. What's good, brother? What's up, brother? Chilling, man. Just uh, got into uh, Red Cliff and about to rock the show tonight. Red Cliff. Just outside of Medicine Hat. Literally connected back to back. Uh, they basically look right onto each other. Oh, word. That's cool. Red Cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Does, is there a big red cliff there? <laughs> if there is, I've yet to see it, but it doesn't mean that there's not. <laughs> Word, that would be a cool spot to shoot a music video. I want to find a red cliff. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Word up. So, you guys have been on the road. You have uh, you started about a week ago, I think, right? In uh, in Van, around that area? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, how's, how's the road been so far for you? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, we're... Uh you know, we're we're road dogs. We kind of, you know, joke around amongst ourselves and and say, you know, we're we we're we're vets now. We've been doing it for, you know, as you know, fifteen, sixteen years. So um, it's it's not it's definitely not a new hat, but it's always a fun one to wear. We love getting out on the road and being able to show people our music and interact with our listening audience. And obviously, when you have a new record coming out, as we do for Brand New Day, uh, it's always great to be able to get out and do some new songs and promote the new material. Definitely, definitely. Anytime you get a new project out, you got to go and tour it and really show show the people because when they listen to it, it's so much different than the actual live performance of it. I think. I agree. I, I think that Swollen, we've been always very cognizant of the of, of trying to make sure that the energy that we put into the album can translate on stage and and vice versa. And uh, always try to be as open as we can to uh, feedback from our from our fans and make sure that we're paying attention to what they think is is hype and uh and we really take all that stuff into consideration so i'd I'd say there's a nice segue there between the live show and the and the albums uh and we've been pretty consistent with that i feel but you're right i mean regardless of that there's always a lot of energy on stage and it's just the physical presence of it that uh separates it from from being a recorded uh work Definitely. It's so key. And even um, we were just doing a show here this weekend and one of the artists, a female artist who was out here, Dutch Dillinger, she was just talking about, like, cause she was doing banter in between the songs. And I was just mentioning to her, I'm like, thank you for, for doing that. And, and her, her explanation was, you know, why this is what you have to do during a show, because if they're just going to get the music the whole time, then they could just sit at home and, and, and listen to the music, you know, give them a little bit something more than just the music, interact with them and have a good time, make them laugh and stuff. And I know you guys are really good at, do, at pulling that off on stage. Well, thank you. And, and, uh, Dutch is totally right. I know, I know her, um, from uh, the Juno weekend a couple years ago in Montreal, sorry, in Montreal, in uh, Ottawa, and uh, we got to talking and stuff. She's she's an awesome person, super talented, and um, her heart's in the right place for making music. So yeah, and she's yeah. absolutely right in saying that. One hundred percent. Yes, yes. Uh, so you've got the new project coming out, brand new day. What is the official release date? Uh, I haven't seen an official date yet, but I do know it is. Uh, Slated for about mid June. I've been hearing rumblings of around somewhere between the seventeenth and the nineteenth. Awesome. That's great to hear. Looking forward yeah. to, to checking it out. I know all like the last couple albums that you guys have been releasing have, have been really just hardcore hip hop, you know what I mean? And just banging beats in your face and, and, and really focusing on the lyricism and the craft, the art as you, you know what I mean? And, and I think as, as hip hop fans, that's, that's why they're, they're eating it up right now. You guys are coming with some of the best music. Um, I think that, that we've seen here in Canada in a while. Oh, well, I appreciate hearing that, brother. And I know the guys would, uh, echo that sentiment as well in thanks and, in, in, uh, appreciation. Um, but, you know, we're, we're at that point again in our, in our, not just in our career, but in our understanding of, of who we are as individuals and what the dynamic of the group is. When, when everyone in the group's in a, in a great place and, and they're healthy physically, spiritually, mentally, uh, we get in the studio, we get on the road, and it's enjoyable. It's fun. And I think those kind of things, uh, they they reflect in a positive light. So we're we're thankful to be on the road. We're thankful to be able to still be in the game after after uh, a tenure of this long, and to still be effective and, and still have uh, people appreciate the music. And and as long as all those things always fall and click into place, we're not we're not going to stop. You know, we're we're luckily in control of our own future and our own destiny. Especially with Mad Child bringing Battle Axe Records back now with uh, Kevin Zinger from from Sub Noise and and the strength of independent hip hop. Uh, will again have a home, so we're we're very proud of that, and uh, obviously it's a it's a natural progression and a place for us to have a mainstay. 
Yeah, it's great. It's great to see. And I keep seeing uh, that that sentiment echoed also about uh, Madchild and how much positivity he keeps saying. Every any interview that I keep watching, he's always saying, you know, I'm in a really positive place. And, and the whole group, even everybody's just really meshing together. It's in a healthy environment now. And uh, and that's why it's you guys are able to do so much and, and make so much music. Good, pr- pr- the, Your production level is probably higher than it's ever been. And uh, and it's it's definitely paying off, I think. Yeah, when you know he's absolutely right. Everyone's in a in a great place, and uh, you know, obviously, Mad and I follow the cues of Rob's musical genius. Nothing happens without the without the music being the template first. But we're so fortunate to have. Uh, literally, I, I, I say this to Rob all the time. You're a musical genius, man. I don't know how you do it, but he constructs <laughs> songs. He's really a he's not just a beat maker. He's an actual producer, and there's yeah. a big difference there. It's a difference between, as you know, uh, someone who just simply raps and someone who can actually uh, masterfully control the crowd. Um, so I, I think that we've all turned that corner together, and, and because of that, we support each other through thick and thin. You know, I don't have to tell you all the trials and tribulations we've been through. Mm-hmm. Um, we came out on the other side, and we're, we're stronger, we're better, and we're, we're closer as friends, as brothers, as creative artists, and as business people together. That's great. It's great to see. And one thing that you mentioned there was uh, just about being sound, um, healthy, mentally but also spiritually and that's something that's a word that i don't hear a lot of rappers always talk about you know what i mean but how how important is that for you in your own practice of maintaining a good spiritual balance in your life something that you can still you know stay grounded stay connected and uh and be focused as opposed to just all going all over the place like do you you meditate at all do you you know spend some time alone just kind of like getting your chi aligned (laughs) Well, I, 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 I live by myself. Um, I have a beautiful, wonderful girlfriend whom I love, and she's been a, a huge burst of energy for me. But, um, I mean, I do. I spend a, quite a bit of time by myself, and I think in that you start to just really ask yourself those hard questions. And, and maybe it's just a, a, a phase where I'm at in my life, and I'm, I'm starting to be more trying to be more cognizant of what I put in and put out, not, uh, not, not, not only musically and creatively, but also in and out of what I eat. How do I take mm-hmm. care of myself? Yes. Am I getting the right amount of sleep? And you start to realize, man, those things actually make a difference. They, they change your outlook. They allow you to be more positive. You're, you can think with a more level head. Um, it doesn't hurt to try to uh, loose some of those vices and let some of those things go as well and have strength in realizing that you don't need crutches all the time to be yes. able to carry yourself through. It's better to walk than to hobble. So key. So key. Yes. People rely on, on those a little bit too much, and, and we can we can really do without it for sure. And Sure. It's, and everyone's got their own thing. It's all different for everybody. But, uh, you know, it, it's nice to recognize that you have them and to be able to uh, confront them and combat them and, and, and realize, like I said, uh, you, you, that they're, they're not needful things. They're wantful things. Yeah, definitely. Be able to recognize what's uh, what's holding you back and what's what's keeping you pushing forward in the right direction, and and make the right choice to know what to what to keep in your life for sure. One Absolutely. thing I wanted to say: you, if you spent like spending time a little bit, you know, on the alone and and in the in the contemplative mode, one thing that I got introduced to that's mind blowing. Have you ever heard of float tanks? Yes, I've I've dep- I, I know them as deprivation tanks. Yes, but I've yeah. Asked before, yeah, but yes, I, I have. Uh, have you ever gone in? I, I do. I have had a uh, little bit of experience with them, and um, I think for for me, maybe the the on the ground meditation needs to come first. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm cool to slip in the chamber. Plus, I'll be honest, Robbie, I don't, I don't really like getting my hair wet. Okay, yeah, yeah, you got the you got the <laughs> dead. Yeah, to, to dry and it's salty water. They pack like five thousand pounds of salt in that water, so it right. probably just goes all through that hair. That's that's got to be hard. I'd come, I'd, I'd come out uh, with blonde tips, like my tips were frosted at the end of my dreads, and that just hasn't been a cool look since the eighties. <laughs> No more frosting. No more frosting. <laughs> Please. <laughs> word up. Word up. That's what's good, man. Well, I know you're you're doing the show tonight, so I, I won't keep you too long here. Much respect okay. for, for getting a chance to talk. I know you're coming around here to Ontario, so let the people know um, what they're expected to see. You're going to be in Barrie on, on, the, on Monday, Toronto on Tuesday at the Opera House. Super looking forward to that. Wednesday, mm-hmm. you're in London at the Sound Bar. Thursday, here in Guelph, our hometown at uh, Vinyl and Friday. Uh, you're in Niagara Falls, so let the people know a little bit about what they're about to see. Well, if you if you've been to a swollen show, we look forward to uh, to seeing you again and and trading energies. If you haven't yet been to a swollen show, expect lots of enthusiasm, uh, uh, a lot of jumping, a lot of hands in the air. We we pride ourselves on crowd participation and making sure that that 
connection is symbiotic because as much as uh, the crowd feeds off our energy. We need we need the crowd's energy as well to uh, to keep pushing it forward. So just look forward to a great exchange of uh, of thought, conversation, and purity. Great, awesome. Looking forward to it, man. The trading Thanks. of the energy. You guys give it up there, fans. Give the energy to them. They give some more energy back to you, and it's going to be a, a fun time, man. I'm super looking forward to it. Stoked, brother. <laughs>